Hello, my name is Michael O'Keefe, aka The Movie List. If you enjoyed this interview and want to hear more top-notch film industry conversations, please press the thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell to stay in the know. Hello, Louise and Mai. Tell me why you wanted to make the documentary It Is Not Over Yet. Um, actually, I never thought that I would ever do a documentary about a re mm. nursing home. Um, but then I heard Mai on the radio, actually, talking uh, about uh, that life with dementia could actually be joyful if you spend your last years in a, in a good place. So that really made me think, is, could that be true? Because you always hear uh, that a life with dementia is just horrible. Uh, and that made me call her. And that was the starting point actually for the documentary a couple of years ago. Uh, Maya, what is it like to take care of the elderly? Tell, tell, us, tell me broadly what that entails. It's kind of a, it's sort of a, a life impact on me. It's, um, it's part of my life. It's not just a work. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's in me all the time. And uh, I want to uh, improve all the time and, and, and try to, to, to get their lives better from, from, the, from the day they move in to the day they, they die. And, and, and we try together, me and my staff, to, to, to do our best to, get the, to, to make a good life for them. So, of course, when, when Louise wanted to make a film and filming for two years, I was, I was glad about that because then we could show the world what, what it is that we are doing every day in, in my care facility. Yeah, it seems like difficult work, though. Um, do, you, do you find it rewarding, ultimately? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, um, I, I'm. Every day, we we are just actually we are just happy in the work every day from 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 the morning to the evening, and I see also the same in the staff. Uh, sometimes it's it's complicated, but it's uh, you you always see a kind of improvement in in the residents, and you always always feel that that you get a relationship with them, and that you you actually you you begin to love them also as 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 the human beings they are uh, the, the persons they are so so uh, of course it's like you live you live in the family when you get into work every morning you feel like you're in in your other family almost you could say i feel like with with the elderly you know sometimes they don't necessarily they're not fully cognitive of what's happening around them but if you talk to them like children then they're going to snap out of it and they're going to Talk to you like, hey, why, why are you talking to me like a kid? You know, so it's a matter, would you say patience and respect are uh, equally important? Yeah, of course, of course. And, and you have to, to keep that in mind all the time when you talk to them and when you are with them, you have to, you have really to, to think about them as, as an equal person. Uh, and, and don't don't talk to them like 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 their children, but but try to follow them and try to learn from them and try to try to get uh, um, what 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 they want to tell you. Also, if they have difficulties with the language and so on, you you can always learn something from them uh, and learn something from the situation with them. So uh, I always try to say to my staff that they can improve as as uh, as persons themselves it, when they are together with our residents. So they get something out of it also. All right, Louise, tell me about being embedded uh, in this environment. And what was, what was the experience like to get to know these elderly people? Well, I um, actually, I, I didn't have a lot of knowledge about dementia in the first place. Like I said, it happened a little bit accidentally. And then when I talked to Mai, she was also saying that she didn't really, was not interested in the diagnosis. It was... Uh, just to treat the, the, the persons like they are. So I just came in a little bit blank uh, in that sense. So it was really overwhelming uh, to get to know the residents and to, to feel uh, the different ways that they're affected by, by their dementia. But also, you know, there was a lot of funny situations because you're used to that you can build a relationship with people, you can build trust when you work as a documentary filmmaker. But here, um, uh, some of the, the residents, Inge, for instance, who is uh, one of the main characters, she would come up to, to us every time we came, me and the photographer, and say, hello, ah, who are you? And mm -hmm. welcome, how interesting. So even though that we had been filming her, you know, two hours earlier or the day before, um, we, would, we would be new to her. 
So um, I, I think it's like my sis, I really felt that that the way they are living um, with dementia, it, it forces you to be really creative or to be present. I, you know, uh, I couldn't, I, I just had to be really myself and be uh, honest in the communication because um, I couldn't really prepare because they communicate in, in a way, in a different way. Do you, does it make sense? Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, you know, it makes sense for sure. Uh, so tell me about the euthanasia in the, in the documentary, because that's going to trigger some people. The what? There is some euthanasia, no, isn't there? It's not, it's not euthanasia. We, oh. we do. <laughs> oh, I, I don't, I don't no, no, know. No. You got to explain it to me. <laughs> Explain to me what the, the scene, you know what I'm referring to. Explain to me what that is. And why. I, I know what it is. I know what it is. Yeah, we just, yeah. Uh, it's not euthanasia. We, we follow them in their natural process of dying. So it's another thing. <laughs> we, uh, we follow them during some months and uh, or some, some weeks when they, when they begin to not eat and when they begin to, 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 to being um, more um, not interested in the surroundings and, and like the, as I say in the film, they are full of days. They don't want to live anymore. And, and that is a process that we see over, over months and weeks. So, and, and it's something we talk a lot about ethically. What, is, what, what are we going to do here now? What, what is our duty here? Is it to follow that process or is it to try to give them um, some food all the time if they don't want the food, etc.? So, so that is, uh, it, it's actually, it's... Um, I think actually it's maybe the opposite of euthanasia because it's 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 just following them in their natural way of dying. Oh, okay. So I, I just misread one shot. There was like an injection or something. And obviously I'm not a doctor. I don't know anything. So <laughs> uh, I apologize for that. Uh, but thank you for clarifying that as well. So is there a lesson or purpose in this documentary or is it simply seeing lives unfold? I think as a as a filmmaker, you you, uh, you you go out to to examine and to experience. So in that way, it's like uh, yeah, it's 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 an art form where you're open. But but as a filmmaker, I think in in you you have this purpose, which is what are you interested in? What 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 are your films really about? And and for me, this this is about belonging and about community and this is a theme that I think from different angles I have been um, I've been examining in 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 my films so 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 for me the purpose is to 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 show the importance of the human contact but but that was not the starting point that was just um, that was just uh, fascination mm -hmm. cool so what are some documentaries that you guys like what are some of your favorite documentaries? I mean, I, I like, uh, I think there's a lot of uh, documentaries coming out of, of, of Denmark, actually. So, which I find really uh, inspiring. There is one that's called uh, The Good Life that Eva Mulval, which who is a really uh, great uh, Danish female director. She did about some elderly, uh, former rich women who had become poor, but try to keep up their aristocratic lifestyle and it, it has uh, humor and she she also did a film called uh, about um, uh, a, ser a refugee couple uh, it's called love child so so she i think if if i should mention a, another danish uh, documentary director she would be she would be one of them great are you guys happy that this uh, documentary is in the hot docs film festival what does that mean to you oh, i think that's absolutely fantastic because I mean, you always, you, 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 go, you go out into the small world and Denmark's a small country and my nursing home is a really small nursing home and, and you kind of dig into that and then all of a sudden your, your film gets to travel to, to the under, end of the planet and somebody else will, will watch it and, and, and that feels really uh, great. And also just to add about the documentary, I went with my last film, I, I went to, to, to Itfa, uh, a couple of years ago, and um, I, I, I forgot the, um, the English title, but this wonderful film about the woman with the honey and the bees in, uh, in the Balkan region is called Honeyland. 
That okay. was, I think that's really uh, the most beautiful uh, documentary. It's about, yeah, it's about life in the hills and also about um, being close to nature. So that is one of my favorite international documentaries. But I'm, pr I'm proud as a filmmaker that the film was selected for hot dogs. And also because maybe people would think old people, a retirement home, people with dementia, you know, could that really be interesting for somebody? But, but this is really a, a, a joyful film. So, so it seems that it really a lot of people likes it. Well, I liked it. It was something I know literally nothing about. Uh, and um, I, I enjoy being educated through seeing a lived experience in a narrative. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I want to thank both of you for your time. Are there any final words you would like to say about it is not over yet? No, it's, it's not so easy for me just to say a final word. <laughs> okay. It's, 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 uh, thank you for, for, yeah, thank you for the interview. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye.